Hey everybody, it's Troy Taysom. Uh, my voice is back and this is the video that I promised you. Now I've heard from some students that uh, I've had in the past that a lot of people have trepidation about this class. They're worried that they won't pass it. They're worried that it's going to take um, every minute of, of every day. And I just wanted to alleviate some of that stress. The first thing I want to tell you is that this class should be one of the funnest classes that you've had. And I'm going to try to make it that way if I can. And the reason I say it should be one of the funnest is because you are going to be teaching me this semester. You, you all are the, are the professor and I'm the student. I want to learn from your projects. So your project that you pick should be one that you absolutely love. It's a topic that you just really are fascinated by that you want to explore even more. Now, there's only a couple of there's only a couple of um, uh, requirements for the project uh, for the pro well, I should say for the project topic. And the first one is that. It has to have something to do with network administration and cyber and network, you know, security management or cyber security. So that's that's really it. Other than that, it's it's pretty open. Um, it does need to be senior level work. In other words, this project is going to be 20 pages written. Um, and uh, you may include a video in it, you may not. You might have screenshots in it, you may not. But it is going to be a 20-page paper. And the reason that it's so long is that this is a culmination of the work showing what you've learned from the time you entered university until now when you're about to graduate. And I've had some fantastic projects. Things are going to be done a little differently than, than some of your friends may have had in the past. You will have deliverables throughout the semester so that you can keep on track. And you will meet with me, probably virtually, depending on the COVID situation, maybe in person. It just It's kind of fluid right now. I'm not really sure how it's going to, how it's going to play out. But the first thing you need to do is start thinking of what it is you want to do. And you're going to write that up, and you're going to submit that to me. And then I'm going to read each one, and I'm going to send you notes back on it. So it's important that you read the notes, because the notes will say, yeah, this is a perfect project, or this is a great start. You're going to have to dig a little bit deeper into this than what you've kind of already talked about. Um, but this should be fun for you to research. It shouldn't feel like... A ton of work. Now it is work. There's no doubt about it. And I am um, tough on projects because I want the dean who looks at these projects. And that's above my boss, the dean of the college. I have to turn in so many projects at the end of every semester for him to look at because they use these to try to recruit people into our program, try to get more people to uh, give internships to our students. So you're really helping out a lot of people by doing these projects correctly. So I am demanding when it comes to the quality of the product, the project, but it should be fun. Don't pick something that you hate. Don't pick something that you have no interest in at all, because then it's really going to be laborious it's going to be tedious, and it's not going to be any fun. And if you do that, that's on you. You need to pick something that you really like to do. And so, as you can see on my screen right now, the first thing you need to do is give me a written proposal of the topic. And that's going to be used in the first meeting that we have together. And we're going to meet probably two times during the semester individually with me and there will be other deliverables throughout the semester but I want I want you to know that I'm here for you you don't have to meet with me just two times you can meet with me more often um, you can give me your project to read at different times to see what I think um, 
you don't have to do that as long as you meet the the deliverables that I've set out, which is your written proposal, <laughs> excuse me, and then you have the the written abstract of the project. And the written abstract is going to be just a real basic uh, teaser about what the project's about, but includes your thesis statement. And I also want to see five relevant sources in APA format. So this paper does need to be formatted in APA, okay? Then in the mid-semester, that's when we'll do our second progress review where we'll meet in person or virtually, depending, again, on the situation. And I will read your paper. At that mid-semester progress review, at a minimum, you should have a very thorough outline of your project in outline format not just in your brain but in outline format and the reason that I have you do these deliverables is that if you have deliverables and you have to meet them then chances are you're going to meet them and chances are that you're going to have a successful project now some projects just aren't really acceptable some people want to build a home network um, I mean, those are okay, but those have been done so many times that um, you would have to make a real appealing case for me to approve something like that. I want to see you do some research that actually adds value to our industry and, uh, and you know, go out there and, and come up with some new ideas, come up with some new proposals and see what you think. Um, there's a lot of areas within network and security management that need to be explored. Uh, one that comes off the top of my head immediately is our cybersecurity training. Security training is crap. Um, still, it's in the 90 percentile somewhere that... Um, Social engineering is how bad guys gain access to a network. And that means that somebody's opening an email, giving out information they shouldn't, allowing people into the office that shouldn't be there, uh, basically just being lazy. But nobody's cracked the code yet on how to train people to not be that way. So maybe you're the one that's going to crack that code. Hey, and if you crack that code and you took it and you turned it into a business, you might be my boss one day. And I'd be, I would, you have no idea how happy that would make me to see you guys be that successful. That's just one area. You could also delve into um, the new work that they're doing with behavioral analytics in determining who's writing software or malware code and, and trying to inject it. And, you know, what are they doing to use this behavioral when they look at how the, how the malware is being injected, how they're getting into the systems, that they can kind of see what this person is doing, that this person, as are we all, creatures of habit. And they will continue to do it the same way because... Why change if you're getting great results? So that's all I really wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to make sure that you understood that this should be fun. You should do something that you love. And that's going to require a, a lot of thought on your process um, of what you're going to be doing. So it's time to start thinking about that now. Now this... Um, Thursday night when we meet, um, we'll talk about some of the other things that are important in a project. We'll, during those Thursday night classes, we'll, we'll go over how to do research, how to identify um, solid, you know, good, uh, relevant sources versus sources that are iffy at best, um, and We'll do stuff like that. And at that point, you can ask me questions uh, about your, 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 your project. 
And I promise you the questions you ask won't be stupid and they'll be relevant to everybody who's in the class. So I look forward to meeting with you guys on Thursday. I think I know almost all of you. Um, having looked over the list, you know what kind of uh, professor I am. You know that um, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing and that I will give you guys a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of leeway when it comes to picking your projects. So be thinking about it, and we'll talk about when that written proposal is going to be due uh, this Thursday when we have class. If you have any questions in the meantime, you can either text me, you can send me uh, a message through Canvas, or you can send me a message through MS Teams. Um, we can have a video conference. Uh, we can meet in person as long as you're willing to wear a mask. If you meet me in my office, you have to wear a mask. Um, that's just that's just the rule I have. Uh, if if you can't wear a mask or you you have a you have something against wearing masks, I totally understand that. Then we'll need to meet virtually, which is no big deal. So I hope this helps alleviate some of the trepidation and stress. And I hope this helps get you excited to do this project. You guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you Thursday.